Hi everyone, Bren here. Welcome to this week's garden update. And for any of you who are new to my channel, yes, I do have an Irish accent because I'm originally from Dublin, Ireland, but I now live here in New South Wales, Australia, and I'm trying to create a cottage garden where I grow edibles, fruit, vegetables, and flowers. And actually this spring, which was in 2022, because we're now in summer 2023. Um, in springtime, I started a small business where I sell the cut flowers that I grow here in my garden. So that's kind of a bit of a summary of what's happening here on my channel. Anyway, what I'm gonna do today is we're gonna go on a bit of a garden wander, give you a bit of an update on what's happening. But I wanna start off with an easy recipe. It's a zucchini or courgette recipe because oh my goodness, at the moment I have an abundance of this fruit. I have this golden zucchini that I need to use up. So I used part of it to make these very quick zucchini muffins. I did have great plans to, you know, cook some bacon and add other ingredients, but I just ran out of time. So these are super basic and I don't actually have like a set recipe. I add flour, eggs, um, oil. And actually speaking of eggs, I just wanted to say to you that even though we have two chickens for a family of five, they don't seem to lay enough eggs for us. So I do buy eggs too. And oh my goodness, how expensive are they? Maybe I need to think about getting a couple more chickens. Um, in our area, we're only allowed to have four chickens. It's council rules and you're not allowed to have a rooster. So there you go. Anyway, I'll add some seasoning. I also added salt and pepper. Here's a bit of cheese. And I really should have just grated that zucchini in the same bowl because I'm giving myself extra things to have to wash up. Um, so I put them in, well, I started off putting the mix into these little paper holders, but they weren't strong enough. And I had to switch over to um, a silicone, this thing. <laughs> I should have um, just started off with that. So I've got six here and I have leftover mix too. I made some more and here's how they turn out. They look really nice. Hopefully my kids will like them. We'll see. They've cooled down a bit. I just cut one open so I can do a taste test, but I've noticed already a mistake I've made with these. Because the fruit was so big, can you see there? There's a seed massive seed which is really hard and I didn't think about you know taking them out when I was grading the zucchini usually if you pick or harvest a zucchini that's smaller you won't get these really mature seeds so yeah I'm gonna have to warn everyone to be careful of them because I don't want anyone breaking their teeth I'm gonna give it a try mm. As I mentioned, I do usually add bacon, but I would also add, say, any other vegetables that I've got. So I could add chopped up capsicum or carrots. I've got lots of carrots in the garden. Just did not have time. It has been an absolute crazy week because here in Australia, the kids go back to school in the last day of January. See, I'm not even thinking at the moment. So they were back this week and it has been hectic that in addition to how fast everything's grown here in the garden i feel like i'm just not on top of things i feel like i'm a bit of a scatterbrain at the moment i just can't focus hopefully things will settle down we'll get back into a routine and i will be able to you know put a bit of effort into this garden especially my small business <laughs> Speaking of which, there has been some lovely flowers from the garden this week that I've been able to use in arrangements. I didn't pick these ones. These are some of the pom-pom dahlias, but let me show you what I did manage to harvest. I picked this bucket of fever few this week. My largest harvest of this filler flower, which is also a medicinal plant. I remember trying twice back in spring to germinate fever few seeds with no success. So I can thank my friend Han for this bounty because she was the one who gifted me a heap of seeds back in spring. Here's a new dahlia for you this week. Corabel Moonglow, my first year growing it. 
a small decorative and the stems are super long so perfect for bouquets i'm really loving the flower like the photos online do it no justice probably even this video in real life it's a stunning stunning bloom this dahlia is definitely a keeper i'll be growing it every year and here are a few more of the flowers that i picked usual suspects so i have the Oh, I can never remember the proper name. Common name is spider flower. And actually, this is the first time I've been able to show you what the seed pods look like. I also got some zinnias. I really forgot there for a second. And rebeccias. Did end up picking a few more flowers after this recording. And here's a couple of dahlias. And one of my favorite zinnias is this one, canary yellow. Really massive blooms this week. Uh, usually with zinnias I find the flowers tend to get smaller. By that I mean the more I harvest from a zinnia plant I find the new blooms seem to be a little bit smaller but not in the case of the canary yellow. I It probably is maybe all the rain we've been getting as well. Anyway here are the four bunches that I put together. They are now for sale at Tarmore Garden Centre in Bargo if you want to pick up one. Thank you so much for sticking around until the end. Hopefully now next week I'll have a bit more time to make a longer video. But if you do want to see a bit more of my garden, I have posted so many short form videos on this short section here on YouTube. Um, lots of harvests, garden tips, flowers, you name it. Everything that goes on here, well, you will find there. So um, if you want to see a bit more, please go and check them out. Otherwise, I will see you all again next Friday. Thanks for watching.